In the last video we had seen the evolution of locomotives from steam-powered engines to Hyperloop. Out of all these the most prevalent type of locomotive in today's world is electric locomotives. So, let's delve into the evolution of electric locomotives. Electric locomotives has fascinating history that has spans over a century. Electric locomotives have played a crucial role in the development of railways and transportation systems, offering several advantages over steam and diesel locomotives, including efficiency, environmental benefits, and operational reliability. The first known electric locomotive was built in 1837 by chemist Robert Davidson of Aberdeen, and it was powered by galvanic cells, batteries. Davidson later built a larger locomotive named Galvani, exhibited at the Royal Scottish Society of Arts exhibition in 1841. The 7-ton vehicle had two direct drive reluctance motors, with fixed electromagnets acting on iron bars attached to a wooden cylinder on each axle, and simple commutators. It hauled a load of 6 tons at 6 km per hour for a distance of 2.4 km. The first electric passenger train was presented by Werner von Siemens at Berlin in 1879, powered by a DC third rail. The locomotive was driven by a 2.2 kW, series wound motor, and the train, consisting of the locomotive and three cars, reached a speed of 13 km per hour. The world's first electric tramline opened in Lichterfeld near Berlin, Germany, in the year 1881 also built by Werner von Siemens. In 1883, Modeling and Hinterbrühl tram opened near Vienna in Austria. It was the first in the world in regular service powered from an overhead line. By late 19th century, it was felt that smoke from steam locomotives was noxious and municipalities were increasingly inclined to prohibit their use within their limits. In addition to that, the use of steam locomotives inside tunnels were hazardous. Hence much of the early development of electric locomotives was driven by the increasing use of tunnels, particularly in urban areas. By 1890, the first electrically worked underground line was the City and South London Railway, prompted by a clause in its enabling act prohibiting the use of steam power. So far all these developments were on DC locomotives. In 1894, Hungarian engineer Kalman Kando developed a new Type 3 phase asynchronous electric drive motors and generators for electric locomotives at the Fives Lille Company. Kando's early 1894 designs were first applied in a short three-phase AC tramway in Evian Les Bains in France, which was constructed between 1896 and 1898. Electricity quickly became the power supply of choice for subways, abetted by Sprague's invention of multiple unit train control in 1897. Surface and elevated rapid transit systems generally used steam until forced to convert by ordinance. At the same time Charles Brown while working on three-phase AC systems observed that three-phase motors had a higher power to weight ratio than DC motors, and because of the absence of a commutator, were simpler to manufacture and maintain. However, they were much larger than the DC motors of the time and could not be mounted in underfloor bogies, they could only be carried within locomotive bodies. Three-phase motors run at a constant speed and provide regenerative braking and are thus well suited to steeply graded routes. In 1899 Brown supplied the first mainline three-phase locomotives to the 40 km Bergdorf Thun Railway Switzerland. Italian railways were the first in the world to introduce electric traction for the entire length of a mainline rather than just a short stretch. The 106 km Valtellina line was opened on 4 September 1902, designed by Kando and a team from the GANS works. The electrical system was three-phase at 3 kV 15 Hz. The three-phase two-wire system was used on several railways in northern Italy and became known as the Italian system. During the period of electrification of the Italian railways, trials were in progress as to which type of power to use. In some sections there was a 3.6 kV 16.66 Hz three-phase power supply, in others there was 1.5 kV DC, 3 kV DC and 10 kV AC 45 Hz supply. After Second World War, 3 kV DC power was chosen for the entire Italian railway system. In 1918, Kalman Kando invented and developed the rotary phase converter, enabling electric locomotives to use three-phase motors whilst supplied via a single overhead wire, carrying the simple industrial frequency, 50 Hz, single-phase AC of the high-voltage national networks. In 1923, 
The first phase converter locomotive in Hungary was constructed on the basis of Kando's designs and serial production began soon after. In 1925, the first electric locomotive was operated in city of Bombay in India. In Europe, electrification projects initially focused on mountainous regions as coal supplies were difficult, hydroelectric power was readily available, and electric locomotives gave more traction on steeper lines. This was particularly applicable in Switzerland, where almost all lines are electrified. The power-to-weight ratios obtainable with electric traction units had been greatly increased by the end of World War II. Reduction in the bulk of on-board electric apparatus and motors, coupled with a simultaneous rise in attainable power output, enabled development of more powerful locomotives. Now the locomotives had all four axles, motored and there was no longer need of non-motorized axles to keep weight on each wheel set within limits acceptable by the track. An important contribution to the wider adoption of AC traction came from SNCF of France after World War II. The company had assessed the industrial frequency AC line routed through the steep Hollenthal Valley, Germany, which was under French administration following the war. SNCF found that the AC traction system has lower operational cost and efficient, thus to be implemented for all future projects, regardless of terrain. In 1945 Louis Armand, former president of the French railroads, went ahead with further development of AC systems and converted a line between Aix-les-Bains and La Roche-sur-Foron for the first practical experiments. This was so successful that the 25 kV, 50 Hz system has become virtually the standard for new mainline electrification systems. By 1960 the electric industry was producing transformer and rectifier packages slim enough to fit under the frames of a motored urban rapid transit car, thereby making almost its entire body available for passenger seating. In addition to that, the power-to-weight ratio of motors greatly increased, thereby making the locomotive go faster. By 1980s the advancement in electronics, with onboard microprocessor control reduced the size of converter system. During this period the Japanese Shinkansen and the French TGV were the first dedicated high-speed lines which were built from scratch. These were leveled tracks with minimum curves. In 1990s it was standardized within industry to use asynchronous three-phase motors, fed through GTO inverters. Towards the end of the century, Electric locomotive with new digitally controlled anti-wheel slip controls the tractive effort help to improve the reliability and speed. All these advancements and modifications in electric locomotive technology has made our travel lot faster and convenient. With these changes the advancement of electric locomotive has almost reached to the best possible extent and to go any further it would need to go to the next level. Like maglev or hyperloop. So we have come to the end of this video. Hope you liked this video. Please click on the like button. Give your valuable comments on this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.